Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Rajesh Shado, and in today's video, I am going to cover SAS interview questions and answers on array. Let's move on to the next slide. This is about me and my certifications. Let's move on to the next slide. So, guys, if you want to learn SAS or you want to buy my SAS video course, you can contact me. Let's move on to the next slide. So guys, if you are preparing for SAS interview and you want a SAS interview session, you can contact me. Or if you want only SAS interview questions and answers PDF, you can contact me. Also, if you are facing any difficulty in installing SAS software or software license you want, you can WhatsApp me or you can email me. Let's move on to the next slide. Here is the first question. Write a program to set value missing blank for all character variables where values are either question or any so in that scenario if you see in this data set employee we have one two three four five so we have total five variables wherein we have id and salary these are numeric variables and three are character variables so question is wherever we will see question mark or NA in any of these character variable, we need to replace it with blank. How we will solve this? Because these are three variables, but in a data set, it can be like 100 variables. So we need to solve this dynamically. How we will solve? Let's see the answer. So let's see the code. So here I am creating a data set named employee clean, then set employee copying this data set employee then declaring an array so if you see array get clean name of the array is get underscore clean then in square bracket i am giving a star a star means because i am not aware how many columns are there for character variables so it can be three it can be five it can be hundred so size of the array i am not sure so that's why i am giving star star means it will automatically decide the size of this array then I am giving underscore character underscore that means all the character variables will be the element of this get underscore clean array now I just need to access every element of this array because each element is now holding one character variable so if we see here then if we have created the array that means name is the first element city is the second and country is the third because array type is character so I am accessing each element and then I will check whether it is NA or question mark. So here I just run one loop do I equal one to the size of the array. So I'm not sure what is the size of the array. So that's why if we specify star we need to use dim function. This will determine what is the size of this array and then name of the array get underscore clean now I am giving one condition if get underscore clean I I means first time it is running then one so the first position or first element of this get underscore clean array if it is in NA or question mark then replace this element position with blank so here the first position of this get clean array is holding name variable so if you see it is holding question mark so that means the condition is true and it will replace it with blank. So if you see the output here now name column for the first observation is blank. Then it will check for the second element when the value of i become 2. So this time if you see here city variable is the second element and it has a value Delhi. So it is not any or question mark. So nothing will happen output it is showing nothing and then the third element it is also not any or question mark similarly if we go for the second row and if you see here here we see a na so when value of i become 3 next iteration it will read the country variable and since it is na it will replace it with blank and then i am just dropping i because i is just an increment variable i do not want this variable in the output data so that's why i am dropping here we can drop it here also. I hope you understood this. If you still have any doubt, just mention in the comment section. Let's move on to the next question. Write a program to find value 100 in all numeric variables and replace it with 999. 
So this is similar to the previous one, but previous one was with character variable. This time we will be solving this with numeric variable. So here numeric variable ID is numeric, age is numeric, salary is numeric and rating is numeric. So if you see here, we do not have any 100 value. Here we have one, here we have one, one. So these values should be replaced with triple nine. Let's see the solution. So if you see the code, I'm just creating the data set array underscore solution, then set array dot question because this one is an array question data set. And then I'm declaring an array, array hun wrap. So it's 100 replacement something. I just try to give a meaningful name, hun underscore wrap. Then I'm giving star in bracket. So in the previous program, if you see, I gave it in this in square bracket but now i just mentioned this in curly bracket sas provides us this facility we can specify either curly brackets or square bracket while declaring the array since i am not aware how many numeric variables are there so that's why i again given the star here then all the numeric variables we need to check so that's why i just mentioned underscore numeric underscore so now all the numeric variable of this data set will become the element of this array so total variables are one two three four four numeric variables are there and this one is character name i'm running a loop from i equal one to dim because i'm not sure what is the size of this array so that's why to find out the size of the array we just need to use dim function and then name of the array and i'm just checking the each elements of the array with value 100 so if condition if hun underscore wrap 100 replace i position means if i value is 1 then the first element if it is equal to 100 so first element is id is it equal to 100 no condition is false so it, this will not run okay then next variable it will check for this then it will check for this i value 1 i value 2 i value 3 and then value of i is 4 so when i value of i is 4 it will check if the value of element placed at fourth position is 100 or not so for this observation the fourth element of this array is rating and the value is 100 so now condition is true then what will happen this position rating variables first observations value will now replace with triple nine so now if you see here similarly loop will iterate and will find out this 100 value in each of the variable and then it will replace with with 999 so if you see here this value this value and this value is now 999 i hope guys you understood this let's move on to the next question so the third question is array statement is compile time statement or execution time statement so answer is compile time let's move on to the next question what function is used to count array elements this question is very easy because in the previous program we used this so answer is dim function let's move on to the next slide what type of array should be used as calculations only so sometimes we just need an array that is for calculations only we do not want to create variables with the help of array answer is underscore temporary underscore so we will create temporary array using array statement let's move on to the next slide so that's it guys these are the main basic questions that can be asked i hope you like this video if you like it please hit the like button or subscribe my channel also share this channel with somebody who is interested in learning sas or is already preparing for sas interview and i wish you all the best and we will meet in the next session till the time bye and take care